Welcome to Creativity with Kim, where everyone is welcome and creativity is for everyone. Today we are going to be creating pages 14 and 15 of our January Stamp of the Month mini album series. So here's the January Stamp of the Month called Sweet Little Things. It's available only for a few more days. And here's a look at some of the pages we've created already. So we are um, using the inspiration from these two pages from the These Little Piggies um, mini album workshop that Close to My Heart had created for National Scrapbooking. You can find the link in the description box for the PDF cutting guide as well as the playlist for all of the um, videos of that we've created so far. So these two papers, I used a whole bunch of retired um, papers and this was sea glass and it is um, the same color on both sides. So I need to layer these two papers together. So I am going to add some glacier ink. I'm just gonna sponge it on here um, to give it a little bit, make it a little bit darker and um, just make it so that they look different. Now, another way you could do that is you could just take a stamp, flip it over so that, and um, use the back side of the stamp and you could cover your um, paper that way with ink. And um, so either way will work, just two different ways that you can add some texture and some difference to your paper. And we are going to stamp our cute little mouse down in the bottom of that piece with some intense black ink because we're gonna be coloring it with our alcohol marker. So you wanna make sure you're using intense black so it doesn't smear. And I'm just doing stamp surgery. So I'm cutting off with my scissors between the words. I'm separating the sweet from little things because I wanna stamp sweet up at the top. So just grab the block for that. And because it's just um, a sentiment and I'm not going to be coloring up there, I'm using my archival black ink because I'll get a nice um, dark image for that. And I had a little bit of stray ink on um, the stamp there. And so I just cleaned that off. So we're coloring in the flower with the darkest shade and then the lightest shade of the antique pink. The leaves were the um, darkest shade and the medium shade of citrus green. And then I'm coloring in the mouse and I'm building it in layers. I go dark medium and then light so and I'm working in small areas so you can see me laying down the dark the medium and then I'm going in with the lightest and the tail is the dark color inking the edges with my intense black ink and um, then we are going to start building our page so we've got our piece we are going to um, just tear off about a quarter of an inch off of that bigger piece and then we're gonna tear off about quarter to half an inch off that other piece. And those two are gonna get layered on top of each other. So just match up the tops of them. Then we're gonna grab the next piece and tear off some of that about a quarter of an inch again and layer that on top. And um, it works really nicely. Now that piece is gonna go up there and it's gonna go at about the three quarter half inch line and then the other piece is gonna go down below it. I'd say three quarters. And then um, that piece is on top. See, cute. I just love that paper tearing. So when you paper tear, you're gonna tear towards yourself so that you get that white core, which close to my heart's our white core. I'm coloring in three gems with the darkest shade of the green turquoise. And um, those are really cute. So the clear sparkles are fantastic for um, just being able to dress up a page and make it match what you are using with the alcohol markers. So we are going to um, stamp on two sides of each of those pieces again with that little flower stamp that we've used for a lot of our pages. So if you haven't caught any of the other pages, you can catch them, but we've done the same technique on a lot of them. And it's a lot of fun. So just using that little stamp st uh, flower image and we're just stamping the um, the flower portion. We're not stamping all the grass and stuff. So, and then I am going to use part of the bear image on this, and I'm going to stamp it in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm just getting it so that my bear is just on, and the stem of that flower is just on there. Just rubbing it so that I get a nice crisp impression. And um, now we're going to start coloring. So. On the darker um, piece of pink, I'm going to use the medium shade of the antique pink. And on the lighter one, I'm going to use the lightest shade. So there we've got two different tones. I'm just kind of going for a watercolor um, feeling. Not everything's perfect. Again, on my flower there, it's the dark and then the light shade of antique pink. And the dark and medium shade of the citrus green. Darkest shade of the 
um, light yellow blend. And then I am coloring in my bear with the muted brown, dark, medium, and then light. So that's how I have done um, this image is just built the layers of color. And um, if you find it's too dark, just go over it some more with the light. So I just go over the little dark areas with the, like where there's the black lines and stuff with the darkest color and then bring in my medium and then my lightest shade. And this time on the tummy of the bear, I decided to use the darkest shade to fill in that. And keen up my piece with my intense black ink. And then I had a few things that weren't perfectly stamped, like the B. So just fixing it up with my black journaling pen. So if you have an image that you stamped in black and it's not perfect, I recommend doing it after you have um, colored it in because then you don't have to worry about your black ink smearing. And I'm just using the dot adhesive to glue those pieces together. And um, the red piece is just centered, quarter of an inch, and then the other one is like an eighth of an inch um, from the red. So, And I am using the darkest shade of the antique pink, and then I did two in the darkest shade of the um, green turquoise for my little clear sparkles. And I love that look. So there is another cute page done. So I hope you enjoyed these two pages. You can find all of the supplies I used in the description box. Um, you can grab a custom cardstock pack and make your own, um, pick your own colors. And um, if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to follow me and make sure you don't miss anything, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. So have a great day. Take care. God bless. Thank you for joining me. Bye.